Hey everyone, it's Deb. Today I'm going to teach you how to prepare your expense tracker for 2021. There's a few ways to go about it. I'm going to show you how to do them, but it's really up to you what you prefer and what suits your lifestyle. In this video, I'll be covering the basics of changing the dates for a new year, then showing you the following versions. Version 1, a completely new tracker and form, and how to make a template to keep on the side. Version 2, using the same tracker and form, but with a new dashboard. Version 3, using the same tracker but with a new form and a new dashboard. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to change the date for 2021. It's so simple, you only have to do one thing. Okay, so I'm on my website at the moment and I'm going to download the free expense tracker 1.0. So that shows up here and then I'm going to make a copy of only the expense tracker. And it shows up in my drive like so. And I'm just going to open it. And then as you can see here, this is all set for 2020. And all we have to do is change the date. So as you can see in this monthly expenses tab, you have January 2020 down to December 2020. And what we're going to do is change the date to 2021. So January 2021 and then February 2021. And then we're going to drag those all the way down to December 2021. So you may have noticed when I changed the dates around, the data I had in here disappeared. And that's because the data we had previously was dated in 2020. And now that we've updated our tracker dashboard dates to 2021, that data doesn't show up because it's not the right year. So for example, if we go to our expenses list and we change the data here to 2021. So let's change it now. Just drag it all the way down. And then if you go to monthly expenses, then as you can see, it shows up again because the date is now to 2021. And that is how you update your expense tracker for 2021. It's really as simple as that. Now that you understand how changing the dates work, let's move on to different versions of the expense tracker that you can make to record different years. This is all down to personal preference. Pick the one that suits your lifestyle. Let's start with version one. This is a completely new tracker and form for the new year. I'll also show you how to make a template to keep on the side for years to come. My personal preference is to have a completely new tracker for the new year. For me, it just keeps everything separated and that way if my lifestyle changes and I want to improve my own expense tracker with new categories or formats, it doesn't affect the old trackers at all. What I tend to do is have a template in my drive that I copy every year. So as you can see here, I have a template and also my current one for 2020. But let's just pretend that I don't have a template and I only have the 2020 expense tracker like a lot of you may have. I'll show you how to make a template to keep on the side. So you go into your expense tracker for 2020 and you make a copy. And then it'll make a copy of the tracker and the form. So drag it out, put it into your drive, and then make a new folder. I'm gonna call it Deb's Tracker Template. Then create. Then I'm just gonna drag the two files into that folder and then I'm just gonna rename these. So I'm gonna call them template, so I know that I can't actually use them and I have to make a copy. Then I'm just gonna call that also template. So I'm gonna open my tracker, and this is exactly the same as my 2021, cause it's a copy. So it still has all the old data in it. And as you can see, it's all new stuff. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the bottom and clear out everything. So go down to the lowest and then select that row and then select the top row and then remove the rows. And it's gonna be all clean. So if you go back to monthly expenses, then it's clean. The next thing I'm gonna do is change the date. So I'm just gonna change it to 2021 for February and January then drag all the way down to December. And that's the template done. So now that we've made our template, let's make one for 2021. Just select it and then make a copy. And then drag this out of your folder into your drive and then make a new folder called Tracker 2021. And then drag two of those files into your new folder. And then I'm just gonna rename these 
to Deb's tracker form 2021. And Deb's tracker 2021. Then when you open it, and then if we go to the form and, and then go live preview, let's put in something for 2021. Wow, I've said 2021 so many times. <laughs> so example, 2021 again, <laughs> and then food and drink and then submit. And as you can see here, it's been recorded. And now it shows up in your new tracker and it shows up in your data as well. And that's it. The next thing I'm gonna show you is version two, using the same tracker and form, but with a new dashboard for the new year. So if you prefer to have everything in one place, maybe it's really important for you to compare your years, then I'll show you how to make a new dashboard tab for every new year. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into our current tracker. So tracker 2020. So we're just gonna rename our tracker to something a bit more generic because this track is gonna hold several years in it, not just 2020. So rename that as well. Then when we open it, this has all the data from 2020. And the first thing we're gonna do is rename the monthly expenses tab to expenses 2020. And once that's done, then we duplicate it and then rename this to expenses 2021. Then what we're gonna do with this dashboard in 2021 is change the date to January 2021 down to December 2021. So changing the numbers and then dragging it all the way down. So everything's 2021. And as you can see, the data has completely disappeared. And as I explained earlier, it's because that we don't have data for 2021 at the moment, but if you go back to the expenses 2020 tab, all the data still sits there. So we're gonna go back to our folder and try out some new data. We're just gonna to go to live form and then go and put in data for January, 2021. Then example, then $2021 under food and drink. And as you can see, it shows up. And if you go to our expenses list, it is at the bottom. And theoretically, you could make this also for 2022. So you can just duplicate your tab and then rename it to expenses 2022. And then just change the dates here to January 2022, February 2022, then drag it all the way down to December 2022. And then if we go back and submit another response for 2022, say June 15th, example, 250 subscriptions, then it shows up. Then if you go to your expenses list, then it shows up there too. And this way you can compare year by year. The last thing I'm gonna show you is version three, which uses the same tracker, but has a new form and new dashboard for the new year. It's very similar to the last one, except you have a different form for every year. This means your list of expenses doesn't sit all in one tab. So let's just say you have your expense tracker for the next 10 years or your expenses won't sit in this crazy long list. So the first thing you're gonna do is go into your expense tracker and rename your expenses tab to expenses list 2020. Then what you're gonna do is go back to your drive and then rename your tracker form so it has 2020 in it. Press okay. Then you're gonna make a copy of your form and then rename that to tracker form 2021. So now you have two different forms for different years. Then open your tracker form 2021 and then go to responses and click this little icon here, create spreadsheet. Then you go select existing spreadsheet, press select. Then you select your tracker right there and then it's gonna open again but it's gonna create a new tab and it's called form responses for. And all you gotta do is just rename that to expense list 2021. Then once that's done, go to your expenses 2021 tab. 
So I changed the formula, so anywhere that says expense list 2020, change that to expense list 2021. So it's linking to the right expense tab. So I drag it down so it gets copied through these rows and then across so it gets copied across all these categories. If you go back to your tracker form 2021, we can put an example in now. So we can go to January 2021. Example, $56 for shopping and then submit. And then it shows up in that new expense list. And then if you go to expenses 2021, it shows up here. And then here it doesn't have conditional formatting because we just created this sheet. So if you want to do that, just follow my other tutorial on conditional formatting, but I'm just going to do it right now here as a refresher. So select this whole column E and then go to format, conditional formatting, format cells if text is exactly shopping, then change the color to purple, then done. And then that's how you do conditional formatting. And you would have to do this for every category. And that's how you do it. So every year has its own list and it's a bit cleaner than the previous one, but you just have more tabs. So those are my tutorials on how to update your expense tracker for the new year. Hope these make sense. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below. I'll do my best to make more tutorials for all the questions you have. Stay safe in 2021. Thanks for watching.